I'm Emily with Nancy's Notions, and today we're going to talk about hemming your jeans invisibly so that you keep this fancy top stitching in there. First things that you're going to need, a pair of jeans that are too long. Uh, we like to use the 5-in-1 gauge because it's got a nice width to it and it adjusts very easily. So when we're seeing how far we need to take them up, we like to use this tool. A big jig tool. This comes in a set of two. There's a narrower width and a, a wider width and you'll see what we're using it for. It's going to help when you're jumping over these um, flat felt seams on your jeans. You need denim needles. Sometimes they say jeans. Very self-explanatory. We're going to use a size 16 today uh, because these jeans are not the thickest. They're, they're robust but they're not terribly thick. So this is the needle we're going to use today. All right, let's get to tailoring. We're not going to pay attention to the front so much because we want it to be the same width all the way around, but we are going to pay attention to where it falls in the back because that's the important part. So I want it to fall three quarters of an inch or so above the heel of her foot. We're going to take our, our triangle gauge. So you can see right there, we've got two and a quarter inches. That's perfect. So then we're going to divide two and a quarter in half, which is one and one eighth. This is perfect. This makes everything so easy. What we're going to do is we're going to fold up our jeans hems. We want to make sure that this and that are perfect. So, oh yeah, that looks great. That's great right there. See how easy this tool makes it? It's so much faster. And you can do a bunch of these pairs all at once. And we're gonna do that all the way around both legs. When we're stitching through multiple layers that are thicker than usual, we wanna set our stitch length longer. So your standard on most machines is gonna be about two and a half for stitch length. So I like to do it right around four. And your tension, you actually want to loosen your tension on the top thread, usually, just ever so slightly. So I'm going to take this down to a 3.8, and I'm going to press OK. Set up your machine with a jean needle and a zipper foot. And I've got a contrasting thread in here just so that you can see it, but you're going to want to use a thread that's going to match, OK? So we've got our jeans all pinned and you want to start on the inseam of the pants. So these have a flat felled inseam, which is going to put a lot of bulk underneath your sewing machine foot. So we like to use a handy little tool called the Big Jig. So we've got, um, this is the, the larger, thicker Big Jig, if you can see here. And here's the narrower Big Jig. And they, they, they both come in the pack, so, so you can use you know whatever you think you need. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put the pant leg around the arm of my machine. And put it behind and just get this started, okay? We're going to put that in there. So we're just going to put the jig right there so that the foot stays level. Can you see that? And we're going to make sure that the channel is going to be where the needle goes. Once this flat felled part is past the foot, then we're going to remove the jig, but not before. So we're going to keep stitching just alongside. OK, now you can see we are past the flat felled. Oh, bam. Very nice, that was perfect. And that's why this thing is great. We are using a thicker fabric, so I just like to go a little bit slower than usual. And remember, we're using this orange thread so that you can see it, but you should be using a thread that's going to match your jeans. So just before that foot's gonna wanna start rocking, you want to put this bad boy in there to keep it all on the stat quo. Okay, got it in there. Now we're going to 
slowly. Keep your needle in the channel here. Perfect. Keep going until the back of your foot is clear of that seam. There we go. Perfect. Okay, now as you see, we are coming up to that flat belt seam again. So before the foot is even going to go up over it, we're going to come behind it with our Gina Majig, raise our foot and slide this right in there, right up to the edge of that flat belt seam. See that? And then we're just going to push on through slowly, carefully. And we're going to go over the spot again, keeping our Gina Majig and this seam flush. Just keep stitching. We're going to go over our original stitching again. Give it a little back stitch. And then we're done. If you see, there's our stitching. And when we flip it up, look at how perfect that looks. And we haven't even pressed it yet. I mean, that's, that's looking really good. And even here, this is where there's so much bulk, but it's not a huge deal. So we're going to do the same thing to the other leg in a matching thread. Now we're going to press this open. So at this point, you probably have a lot of bulk here. So I would say serge this off. Being careful not to get the leg of your jeans in there. Just serge all this off or zigzag it and trim it. Um, but we're not going to do that today. I just want to show you how to press. This is so easy and it's kind of fun. So we're going to start with best press or whoops. And I'm going to put my iron on hot, the linen and cotton setting. And then I'm going to start pressing. I'm letting my best press soak in a little bit there. Some heat and moisture to this part. It's already, it's already looking much better when you apply the heat and moisture. But get it really loaded up with steam. See all that steam I'm getting in there? And you're going to want to clap that down. Pull it. Clap it. Seam looks great. Let's keep on going. Apply our steam. Get it nice and moist and hot. Give those fibers a nice hot bath. These jeans, you can't even tell that we did that. And you've still got your original stitching. These new Invisibly Hem jeans are looking great. This technique and more can be found in Nancy's Quick Stitch to Wear Again book.